Hello everybody, Andrew Majeski here with Dental Owl. So today is finally the day that I can show everybody my compressor unit. With the air, the water suction, the whole works, I will turn it on, I, I will show you guys the inside, I will, you know, you'll be able to hear how loud it is and kind of how I manage everything that way. Um, because yeah, I have been a dental professional for about 14 years and I have recently started my own dental hygiene mobile practice. It's the most amazing thing ever. I love being able to do my own thing, but more importantly, patients love it. So I actually travel to nursing homes, um, people's homes, offices, anywhere. So anywhere that somebody needs me to come to them to clean their teeth, um, teeth whitening, sealants, dental hygiene, exams I am there for you and I do not charge anything extra to go to them either because that that's my job that's what I love to do and I am so happy to be able to do it but if you are thinking about um, owning your own mobile hygiene practice or if you do now or you're getting started this is a great video for you because I will be showing you guys the hub of it all so I will move out of the way soon but this is the compressor unit. I did, um, I'm sorry, that's my dog, Teddy. I'm home, obviously, right now, and my husband's away, so he might be barking a little bit, because it's garbage day, so I bet the garbage people, the garbage people, you know, you, you know what I mean, are outside. Anyways, so I will be showing you guys all the fun stuff, because I know when I first started, even just thinking about owning my own practice, my own mobile practice, there aren't any videos out there, or you will ask other dental hygienists, but they don't have a video of them opening up their compressor unit, you know, showing you how loud it is, how quiet it is, whatever. So I wanted to start something like that to help others because this is honestly the most amazing thing ever that if you are thinking about opening up your own dental hygiene practice, do it because you can work for yourself. It's amazing. I love it. Anyway, so now for the fun part. So I'm going to move out of the way here. Um, I hope you guys will be able to hear me okay here. Let me just move the webcam down a little bit. Hey. So this is obviously not my office. There's carpet for you dental hygienists who are like, oh my God, she has carpet. It's carpet. This is not my hygiene office. This is my office where I do my tutoring, my um, videos on YouTube. I have been a dental hygiene and dental assisting tutor for about... 13 years now. So this is my office that way, but not my hygiene office. So don't worry. I know there's carpet. It's okay. Okay, guys. So here we go. I'm just going to, how am I going to do this? I'm just going to show you guys what's inside and go from there. Okay. So you might not be able to see my face. Okay. But that's okay because you want to see that. <laughs> okay. So when you purchase Hello again. When you purchase this unit, so I had um, ordered mine. Actually, you know what, you guys? I'm going to sit down for one second because I'm 33 and I can't just sit on my knees. <laughs> kind of hurts after a while. But um, oh, here, let me move my webcam. So I bought my unit from Aseptico, which I will leave the link for you guys on the bottom if you like. Um, if you guys can see the front there, sorry. Eh. You can't really see, but I will show you. So I bought my unit from Aseptico. It's a U.S. company. I had looked up units for the longest time from, you know, China, from all over the place. Um, used units would have been a lot cheaper, but I did opt to get something new because with used, you don't know what you're getting into. It would have literally been $1,000 versus $6,000. I paid about $6,600 for mine, um, and that includes taxes. Um, customs, shipping, all of that. But I did also call the company and ask for a discount as well. So it would have been closer to 7,000. But I'm the type where if you don't ask, you don't get. So I did ask for a little bit of a discount. Um, I can talk to you guys more about this in the other videos because I'm sure you're excited to see this. But they have portable chairs, um, tables, lights, everything. But the chairs are about $3,000. I decided to just get a lawn chair instead. Yeah, it doesn't look the nicest, but you know what? I'm traveling to them. They don't care what the chair looks like, honestly. But more about that later. Let me show you guys this compressor unit, and I will turn it on too. Okay. So, and sorry, let me move my webcam again for you guys. There we go. Hello, hello. 
Okay, so I am going to go on my knees, and I'm probably going to go this way so you guys can actually see it. Hey, guys. Okay, so of course it comes with a real stat, so a foot pedal. Um, I use this to actually turn on my unit. So you can turn it on using this switch down here which I will zoom in afterwards. Um, but when I'm working away and I want to use the water, all I have to do is touch this and it actually turns on the unit. It took me one patient to actually realize that that's how I could turn it on. Whereas before, if I was about to use the water, I would reach down and touch the on switch. So imagine you're working away on a patient you're reaching down it's it was horrible to be honest i used the water once just because i was like oh this is awful but now i know i can turn it on with this which is amazing but i will show you guys that later okay so let me just take out the cords for you guys i all of the cords came with it like this okay so i just kind of put it in my little Bag. It just kind of helps me keep them organized. So what you do first is you push this up and you pull it like that. In fact, you guys, I'm going to bring it closer. I'm going to bring it closer so you guys can see. Oh, it's really heavy. I think it's about 40 pounds, it says. Okay, can you guys see that okay? Woo! As I just turned it on and scared my dog. Sorry guys, let me move this down for you. There we go. Okay. Oops. Okay, everybody. So you put this thing on first, right here. There's a cord for the high speed suction. Put that on. Your air water syringe. You see how it looks exactly the same as if you were in the dental office, which is amazing. Love that. My high speed, I guess, hose. Because I do have a high speed, you guys, and a low speed. Actually, this is the low speed hose. This is the high speed hose because if I wanted the water, just kind of has a little sticker on it. There we go. And let's see, as silly as it sounds, my favorite, because I use this the most, the slow speed. All right. Okay, guys, where is my, you know what I forgot? <laughs> I forgot the actual like compressor tub and the water bottle for the water. So I'm just going to grab that. I apologize. I apologize. I was gonna say, I apologies. I'll be right back. Pause. There you guys, I'm back, sorry. I did have everything set up earlier in my living room, but then when I kind of started the video, it was really, really dark and my ring light is upstairs. It's kind of big, so I didn't wanna bring it down. So, sorry about that. So it comes with the water bottle. I believe it's two liters, I believe. And this little pouch, in case you wanted to see that and the compressor tub. So let me show you guys how to hook that up, okay? So, you put the tub in here. There's a little hose for the high-speed suction. It's gray, so that tells you you put it in the gray, I guess, hole. You put it in, wait until it clicks, kind of like turn it a little bit. There you go close up and the white hose is actually inside so you see this here you guys this is the white hose so I put this like this and this always takes me a second just because you kind of have to hold it at the same time so see how the white hose is in and it's locked in to take them out you guys you just have to push that thing there back in and it comes with this handy dandy cord which I I always forget to use it just kind of helps to keep it locked in place so I'm just gonna do everything by the book here there we go I think it's more for 
when you're transporting the unit, you should keep this locked in place, but I don't keep this in there anyway because I put the cords in there sometimes. So I think that's what that's for. Now, the saliva, the, the saliva ejector, the saliva ejector, the slow speed hose goes in this little thing here. Can you guys see that? It's on the compressor unit. So you do have to lock it in, but also turn it, okay? For my first patient, um, actually, I was testing it, I believe, on myself. So it was not on a patient, thankfully. I was testing everything, and I didn't actually turn the slow-speed suction hose, and it wasn't working properly, and I didn't know why. Well, that was why. So you have to make sure to turn it. I'm going to take this out to show you guys. So see that? Oh, sorry. I can't take it all out because of the white hose there. But... Do you guys see that? So you have the white hose, which is in the unit, the gray sort of one for the high speed, and the slow speed is this one here. This one you have to make sure to turn um, clockwise. Okay, let's put that back in there. Show you guys how it looks. The water bottle. Obviously fill it up with water. And then I did buy another one so that when I run my lines and the whole unit, I put a solution in, in here, or sorry, in another bottle, because I don't like to use the same one for the water, but I have another one for my solution too. More about that in another video, because you guys are excited to see this. So, This is always the fun part. I forget if it's clockwise or counterclockwise. Let me see. Makes sense. It's clockwise. <laughs> I swear, sometimes it's not. Okay, there we go. So everybody, that's it. For me to set up everything, it takes about 20 minutes, and that's me moving fast, though. So if I was to move slow, it might take me longer. But um, here, here you go. So I'm going to move this back so you guys can see the whole thing. So see that, you guys? See that? Nice, eh? Okay. So, would you guys like me to turn it on? Yeah? No? Yes. Okay. Let me turn it on for you so you can hear. It's kind of loud. So again, you guys, to turn it on, I use this. I don't have to actually push the on and off button on the unit. So here we go. So it is loud, but you know what? You need it. Initially, I thought that I would have it on the whole time for some weird reason, but you don't need it on the whole time. Only put it on if you need the water and the air. So another thing. Let me sit down because I'm 33 and I need to sit down. Okay. Another thing is what they don't tell you. It's in the manual, but I didn't read the manual right away. Here, let me move this over here so you guys can see. As I'm talking to you. Oh. <laughs> no filter. It's heavy. What they don't tell you is, and I made this mistake, to use your low speed suction, the on is when it's down. To turn it off, it's up. When you use your low speed suction, make sure your high speed is turned off. So off is up and down is on. It may seem obvious to you, but when you turn on the unit, it's loud. So you can't hear necessarily if there's any suction coming off, right? So off is up. To use the slow speed, the high speed has to be off. It doesn't have to be, but it's very low suction with the slow speed if the high speed's on. I had learned that for my first patient. I couldn't understand why it was such low suction. Like there was no point to even use it. It was horrible, honestly. I didn't let on that I was like, this is no suction, but I didn't use my suction. Like I didn't want to use water, suction, anything. Thankfully, I didn't need a Cavitron for my first patient because that just would have been horrible. But keep the high speed off. So this needs to be up. Turning it down is on. So keep this up. And then 
you have suction. So I wonder if you guys can hear, probably not, but let me turn it down for on. And I'm touching my foot pedal to turn it on. You can't hear, but it's there. If you do this, sorry. If you turn it on and put it towards your ear, you can hear it. It's great suction. I didn't think to bring a saliva ejector to show you guys the suction, but it's really, really good. Trust me, you will be so happy with it. Um, what else can I tell you? So, you guys might not be able to see. There's little knobs on the bottom. So I did set up, or I did purchase my unit for a high speed and a slow speed because I am a restorative hygienist where I am able to use the high speed. Um, so that's why I have it set up for both. But if you want something cheaper, you don't have to get the high speed too. You can only get your slow speed hookup, okay? Um, I'm not sure how much it is because I didn't even look at those, but it's probably less. I think it might be less $300, $400. So in my opinion, you should get the high speed hookup if you ever decide to work with a dentist. So then that way they can use it too, right? I have horrible posture. I just noticed, but it's because I'm trying to get in the camera too. So don't um, kill me for my posture. Uh, what else can I tell you guys? I will show you guys the knobs on the bottom, even though it might be kind of hard to see, but I'll take a picture of it. Um, and I will post a link for you on the bottom where I will actually show you the close up as the picture or um, of the picture. Okay. So the knobs are your, your um, hand piece hookup. It says um, hand piece high or low. So to switch it would be the air pressure. I don't know why you would want low pressure. Actually, you know what, you guys? That's probably for, you know what? I'm not sure, because I, I um, haven't actually used the hand pieces yet, but I'll just kind of read the knobs to you. So the first knob is the um, hand piece. Can you guys see that? The hand piece, high, low. The second knob is the uh, coolant, so the water. Then you have your coolant or your, oh no uh, sorry your low speed knob you have your um hand piece on or off and i just have it off now because i don't use it and for the cavatron so you can actually buy your own um cavatron or piezo and then um hook it up using the water but i decided to purchase a separate um piezo unit because i don't want it to use up that water because you know you don't want to be in the middle of something and then be like, I don't have any water left, and then you have to change it. Trust me, it's awkward. You don't want to do that, but that's just me. If you don't plan to use it a lot, if you don't use a lot of water, um, then that would be fine. But it's nice that they do have that hookup if you need it. The on and off switch is this knob at the bottom, and that's the one where I thought you would have to turn it off and on each time, but... Um, what did I do? I'm just trying to think now. Um, to turn it, I have it set up so when I turn my foot pedal on, it turns on. So that would be the actual off switch, as silly as that sounds. But if I turn it on, then this turns off and I have to use the machine to turn it on. Um, otherwise, it's just kind of playing around with the different controls to kind of get the right air pressure. So I obviously just took some time to, here, we'll do this. So I just obviously took some time to figure out the air pressure. I don't use the hand pieces yet because I actually bought, which I can show you guys in another video, which is actually charging now, but I had bought the new Pro Freedom um, Slow Speed. So it's cordless wireless, whatever, so I don't need to hook it up to anything. It's the best thing ever if you're a mobile dental hygienist. And no, they're not paying me to say that. It's honestly the best, most amazing thing ever. Um, Canadian, it was about, oh shoot, how much was it? Almost 2000 I think, but totally worth it. Um, let's see. So another thing that you would have to practice is your, your a mobile setup. So when you're seeing a patient, sit in your chair and then try to figure out where you want this to be. So I'll take a picture again of where I put it. I actually put it behind the patient. What I did before was I put it on my side, but the cords don't always reach long enough to the patient or the cords have to go 
like over the patient's chest, which I just don't think looks professional. So I prefer to have it this behind the patient. So kind of like, uh, I can't really show you guys, but behind the patient and then over to the left because I sit on the right hand side. So then I can play around with the cords and make sure that they reach, you know, over because I use probably my slow speed and the high speed enough. Make sure they're not tangled before you start. Um, and you can close that. Don't close it all the way because the compressor, oh, you, sorry, you guys can't see that, because the compressor fan, this large black thing needs to obviously move, right? And the air needs to circulate. So don't close it all the way. Close it a little bit, it kind of makes a difference. So I'll turn it on again for you. Obviously not a huge difference, but you know, if I had a saliva ejector, I would show you guys, oh, I do, I do, but I don't have water. Do I have water? I do have water. Okay, guys, I'm gonna pause this one more time. I will show you guys the suction because it's awesome. And I'll be right back. Okay, guys, sorry about that. So I'm just gonna hook up my saliva ejector. Yes, it's purple. I decided to get a fun color. And let me show you guys how awesome this is. So remember, turn the high speed off, or sorry, the high speed suction off, which is up. So up is off. The low speed to turn it on, you have to move it down. Okay, so I'm just gonna show you guys. So I will turn it on with my foot pedal. Okay, so it took me about two minutes to figure that out to how to kind of angle it to show you guys, but it is great suction. I can't say that enough. It's amazing. So thank you guys for watching this video. I apologize it was not one of my most professional ones, but you know what? You wanted to see this amazing unit. You saw it. I'll take pictures for you and leave a link for you on the bottom. Um, if you click the link and it's not there yet, just give it a couple hours because sometimes it takes some time to process, but I love it. So this one's by Aseptico. They're not paying me to advertise this for you. It's a great unit. It comes from a great company. It shipped in about a week. That's it, which I was very impressed with. It's heavy. It's loud, but you know what? At least it's on wheels, right? So thank you guys for watching. Any questions, let me know. I am happy to upload this now. I am going to do videos on the slow speed soon and everything else that I use for my mobile setup. Thank you guys for watching and have a nice weekend.